make predictions using exponential functions. Here we have a situation. The city of Ribbon Falls has a population of 10,100 at the start of 2020. City planners want to predict how long it will take for the city population to reach 20,000, assuming a 2.4% annual growth rate. How many years will it take the population to reach 20,000 to the nearest tenth of a year? Basically, what we're using here is an exponential growth function. And I'm going to just write out what that is. We have a of t is equal to a sub 0 times 1 plus r to the power of t. And let's just identify what these things are here. OK, this is going to be amount. It's the final amount. This one here, a sub 0. This is going to be the initial amount. And then r is the, we have this 1 plus r. r is the rate. And t is time. And in the context of an exponential function, 1 plus r is equal to the base. Now, for this particular situation, we have r. r is equal to 2.4%, which is equal to 0 0.024. And so what our equation ends up being is a of t is equal to our starting amount, which is 10,100, and then we have 1 plus 0 0.024 to the power of t, and so we are trying to find out what t is because our final amount is going to be 20,000, and that's equal to 10,100 times 1.024 to the power of t. And we can solve this equation in a number of ways. And I'm just going to go to the graphing calculator. And here's the equation we have of 1.024, but It's going to have to be this, 1,100 times 1.024 to the power of x. And then to graph this equation, we're going to have to go out several years. So I'm going to go to a window of, I'm going to go 0 to 20. And then for my y scale, I'm going to go from, I can just leave this negative 10. I'm going to go up to 25,000 by an amount of 5,000. I'll just 1,000 per year. And then we graph this equation, and this is what it looks like. And then to find out how long it takes to reach 20,000, we can put in a second equation, second function, 20,000, and graph. We do not have an intersection point, so we need to change our window to adjust for that. And I'm going to leave this, I'm going to go to x max 40. And then to find our intersection point, we can go to second, trace, which gives us this menu, and 5 for intersect, enter, 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 and we have intersection 28.8. Okay, So t is equal to 
0.8 years or that's going to be how many years will take 28 point that's what's going to be 28.8 years I was going to see that's going to be uh, 20 48 point eight or the year twenty four point eight that won't quite you can say or or by twenty or you can say by by twenty year twenty forty nine something like that anyway that's how you work out such a problem this is helpful for population growth problems, uh, monetary growth problems, has a wide range of applications. We can use a declining rate also. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for viewing.